I like tasting all these candies and I'm like, oh my god, this feels so good. <laughs> so when I looked up ASMR and I'm like, are you kidding me? This is heaven. I was addicted, obsessed with ASMR. We're talking about um four or five years ago. So then um there was another one she did and then she named it ASMR mukbang and I was like oh, that means I could watch ASMR and people eat at the same time because I didn't know what mukbangs were either so I looked that up and I was like oh my god oh my god so yeah that was my first uh, ASMR YouTube experience yeah it's crazy what's your favorite unintentional ASMR video okay the very first time that I watched a video um, with the title Unintentional ASMR was with Becca D ASMR. Oh my god, I love her channel. She hasn't done videos in so long, in like about two years, if not more. But I love her videos. Like, I think she's such a natural, and I think that's what I like. Her videos are like very natural. Like, it's, it's like it happens, you know, like the way she talks, she whispers and chews gum and like her intentional ASMR videos are insanely relaxing to me. So, uh, Becca D ASMR is definitely my first unintentional video, ASMR unintentional video that I watched on YouTube. Um, name the last five ASMR artists that you watched. The last five I watched was, um, um, oh my gosh I, I'm i trying to remember I'm gonna Because I've watched so many But I'm gonna tell you like the ones that I've watched Off of my History Be Love is Life She's not really like in my opinion a, An ASM artist She's more like a mukbang channel But I'm obsessed with her channel She is so natural I love watching her videos Because her eating is like so real she enjoys her meals so much it's like so satisfying to watch her enjoy her meals when i mean it could be the most exquisite meal seafood boils lobster crabs um shrimp she could be eating taco bell and you see her enjoy her meal the same way throughout no matter what she's eating and that's what I love, the fact that she, like, is a natural. She enjoys her meals, whether we like it or not. If she smacks, if she goes, whatever. I love it, and that's what takes me to her channel. And she's one of my favorites, actually, even though she's not ASMR um, per se. But she's definitely one of my favorite channels. Um, then uh, I'm in love with Lovely Lady ASMR, her... Um, whisper ramble while doing gum videos are insanely relaxing to me she's actually one of my favorites because again she is a natural her personality is a natural you can tell she's not putting up a front she's you can tell she's not acting you could tell that it's her just whispering and chewing gum and just rambling about whatever so i like that to me that's natural the other one that i really enjoy is a um my ASMR addiction. I really enjoy her videos. Um, she is funny as hell. <laughs> her role plays are so funny. But at the same time, her whispers, her low key voice, like her low tone voice, and her chewing gum is just very relaxing. Uh, Karuna, Kar Karuna Satori ASMR. I love her. Even though, like, I feel like her videos are very, um, Put together in the sense of like making them like they're not I mean she's a natural because like I feel like she really gets into it and I really love how she makes me feel like the tingle she give me um even though her videos are kind of like really acted she comes out as a natural and I love her videos I enjoy her very much um Matt's ASMR um I mean, there's so many, actually. Oh my god, China Unique ASMR. Oh, she needs to put it, she needs to get it together with those videos. Cause
was oh, I fall asleep with her like I literally fall asleep with her she's one of my faves and there's so many more guys like so many more there's like a few that are like really 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 good uh, I watch a lot of channels that are not necessarily ASMR they're like eating channel like SAS ASMR you guys know um she's not really ASMR she's more like a mukbang you know um I watch so many but yeah they're really really good anyway going on to the next question uh let's see um what is your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to? My favorite ASMR trigger to listen to would have to be whispering. Oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. Would have to be whispers and gum chewing. There's nothing, in my opinion, more relaxing um, than watching someone or listening to someone chew gum. It's related to SMR, which it obviously 
obviously is, it would be if I'm not uh, sleepy, I lay down, turn on my ASMR favorites, and just relax and fall asleep. I dislike them. I just, I don't get them. Like, I don't, like, at all. I don't get tingles at all. I will tell you, though, that my first video that I did on this channel, um, watching myself eat Popeye's chicken <gasps> makes me so flipping hungry. Oh, but I can't say it gives me tingles. It just makes me hungry. Oh, sorry. It just makes me hungry. Yes, I do watch my own videos because I am very, um, I like to learn from my own mistakes or I like to learn from my, the good things and the bad. So I think watching myself, I realize like, okay, I could better this or I shouldn't do this or I should have said this or, you know, things like that. Or I could have positioned the camera better or the lighting could have been a little off differently or you know things like that so I definitely yes I definitely do watch my videos at least once uh what software do you use to edit your videos I use power director cyberlink um I love it I've been using that uh I've been on YouTube for about seven years six and a half seven years and because I do have other channels by the way um but I think the that one I've used for the last four I would say four years um and it's very user friendly but at the same time it could be a little complicated because you can do a lot you know but it's easy to learn but i like that it's an easy program to learn um what sorry guys outside there's people outside what time of the day do you film i usually film during the day because as you can see it's quiet um Everybody's at school. My husband's at work. Nobody's here. Sometimes my parents are here. And I try to tell them, you know, I'm going to record, so I try to keep it down. But I usually film during the day because, honestly, there's no way in the heck I can film any other time. Because it's very noisy in my house with three kids, the husband, the TV, you know. So during the day, it's definitely the time I record. Um, what is your favorite video that you've made? I most definitely would have to say makeup. My makeup tutorials while I chew gum. It is my absolute favorite um, because it's actually one of my favorites to watch. So it's my favorite to make. So yeah, makeup tutorials while I chew gum. Um, have one of your videos had unexpected ne negative fan reaction? Uh, honestly, right now, so far, no. I, I can't think of anything negative. Uh, you know, there's always the little trolls um, making stupid, ignorant comments. But it's okay. You do you, boo. It ain't bothering me. But no, thank God. So far, and if they do, you know, it's just part of the part of the business. <laughs> think that question is is silly because um, 
everybody has different tastes, everybody likes different things, and, you know, the ones that like it are gonna like it, the ones that don't, don't, you know, so, I would have to say that that question I can't really answer. Um, what's something the audience doesn't know about the behind the scenes of your channel? Um, I would say the thought process of, um, making what video? Like I've said before in my other videos, I um, want to give you guys what you want to see, but at the same time, want to test the grounds on my channel. This is a very new channel, so I'm still not sure how it all is coming along. So I gotta make sure what to do. So the thought process of making what video? What's the most absurd request you've received from a fan? Um, I wouldn't call it absurd, it's just unusual. Um, somebody requested the gum that I chew. It was kind of like, I don't think it is absurd. It's definitely different, but yeah, they asked me to send them the gum that I chew. Whatever, but yeah. Let's see, the next question is, Does your, do your family and friends know you make ASMR videos? Yes, some of my uh, family and friends do know I make ASMR videos. I would say more family than friends, but I do have my um, channels linked on my other channels, so if they are paying attention, they would know I do make ASMR videos because I have all my um, related channels, so my other channels, just like on this channel, I have those channels there too, so... Um, my family, most of my family does know, like my media friend, my parents, my husband, my daughters. So yeah, um, they know. Um, have you ever been recognized in public? Yes, I have. And it was an amazing feeling, very humbling feeling. Um, it was like a little embarrassing because I'm like, you know, please, who am I? But yes, um, and I, it wasn't my ASMR followers, it was from my other Glam Jackie channel, and it was such an amazing feeling. Again, it was a little embarrassing, kind of like, um, yeah, embarrassing, like, sh I'm not a shy person, actually, I'm not at all, um, I'm sort of very reserved, but I'm not shy, but when she came to me, I've had several, but this one in particular, it was very busy where we were, and she was like, ah, Glam Jackie, and I'm like, no, she said, Jackie, Glam Jackie, and I'm like, yeah, she's like, oh my god, so it was like an amazing feeling, very humbling, very, very humbling, but an amazing feeling, um, what else was the next question, what inspires your video ideas, a lot of things, um, I actually get inspired by many things, obviously makeup is one, um, just different things, things that I like inspire me, like, like things that I watch and that I enjoy inspire me to recreate them in my own way with my own touches. Um, where do you find yourself spending the most time online? Honestly, on YouTube and my social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat. Actually, you know, like, lately, I haven't been so active on my social media. Um, just because I have a lot of stuff going on, on besides that. But I would say most of my time, I spend it on um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. What advice would you give someone who wanted to make their own ASMR content? Go for it. What the heck are you waiting for? Don't wait to have the best equipment. Don't wait to have the best lighting. Don't wait. Why? Nowadays, with all these smart devices that you carry in your hand every day, you don't need to be spending so much money that it, on its own, everything takes time. Um, little steps, baby steps. You gotta crawl before you walk. So if you really want to do something, go for it. Don't let anything or anyone stop you. Especially if you know you really like it. One thing I will say though, make sure you're really, really passionate um, in what you do regardless of what it is, ASMR or not ASMR. Make sure that you're really, really, really passionate about what you do because that passion will come through. And I'm telling you, your viewers will see it and they will feel it and they will know 